Okay, so you are preparing for IOQM or AMC 10 and 12, and you want a complete preparation strategy for it. Then this video is for you. We will talk about three strategies or three steps that you can use to create a really well-rounded preparation. Hello everyone, this is Oshin Dashgupta from Chinta.com. Welcome to our channel. We talk about mathematics, physics, computer science in here. And we have also courses for that. You can check the link in the description for it. Let's get started. So the first step to prepare for these contests and and remember that these are like the most challenging math contests that are out there. So you must choose the right resources. And one thing I tell students over and over again is that don't be confused by too many resources. I accept that there are many, many good books and many great websites and many resources out there, but you must choose one or two really good ones and then complete them cover to cover. So for the conceptual part, we suggest two books. Number one, Challenges and Thrills of Free College Mathematics. And number two, Excursion in Mathematics. These are two excellent titles. They're not complete in any sense. They also have their shortcomings. But before switching over to some other book for a specific part, I urge you, I urge you to complete these two books cover to cover. That is, try every exercise problem. Think about every theorem and so on. Okay? So that's the first step. Choose the right resources. And these two books are really good for the concept part. Now, you also should devote a portion of your day to problem solving. And... For IOQM or AMC 10 and 12, I suggest four resources. The first one is, of course, the past year IOQM problems and the past year AMC 10 and 12 problems. That's obvious. You have to do it. The second one is the past year regional math Olympiad problems. Regional math Olympiad used to be the first level of mathematical Olympiads in India. They have excellent problem sets. Now they have been merged with IOQM, but the problems are still good. So the second one is RMO problems. The third resource is the SMO or Singapore Math Olympiad Senior Problems. Excellent resource. The problems are really good. Finally, the fourth one is the AMI problem set. AMI is American Invitational Math Examination Problems. So. All of these four things, four or five contest problem sets, are really important. You can go to Chinta's website. I have given a link in the description for the topic-wise distribution of these problems. Okay? That's important. If you want to practice geometry problems someday, then you can go to the geometry page. If you want to practice algebra problems someday, you can do that as well. Okay? And like that, there is number theory and combinatorics. So... That's the first step. Choose the right resources, right books, and the right contest problems for practice. Now I come to the second step. The second step is in your mind. Remember, all of this, this preparation, this is a mind game. It's a psychological battle. And if you can conquer it here, you can really do it on the exam day or you can learn some beautiful mathematics on the way. So how do you really take help of the psychological battlefield? So 
I will suggest four things in this particular section. The first one, and it's really the most important one, is to talk to your peers. So, if you are in a Chinta program, you are added to a Math Olympiad WhatsApp group. Your friends are there who are also working toward the same competition. Collaborate with them. Post some doubt problems there. Ask them their, some questions that you may have. Respond to their questions. Talk to them. Having a great peer group can work wonders. I have seen it over the years. We are doing this for the last 12 years. Students with a strong peer group, they perform really well. So take advantage of the Chinda WhatsApp groups, internal WhatsApp groups, or the beautiful math WhatsApp groups. Even if you are not enrolled in Chinda, there are some open WhatsApp groups. You can go to the link in the description and join us through WhatsApp. And you can still take advantage of this peer group. It's really important. The second thing is about the teachers. So again, for Chinda students, there are five problem solving classes every week where you get to meet really good mathematicians who have been teaching these things, who are themselves Olympians, who are in some of the best places in India and abroad doing mathematics. So take advantage of those five problem solving sessions. Engage with them. Try to do the problems that they are posing. Understand the strategies that they are talking about. Okay? So that's the second thing. Attend the problem-solving sessions. The third thing is to attend the doubt-clearing sessions and office hours. So apart from all the classes that goes on at Chadda, there are special sessions for doubt clearings, and we are constantly adding more and more hours to doubt clearing process. What we do is that we ask some faculty members to come to Google Meet. It's an online session. Come to Google Meet and just wait for the students to come and ask for questions. Do not ask for solutions. Ask the faculty, okay, how would you start thinking about this problem? You just need a hint. You do not need a solution. In fact, do not read solutions from anywhere. It's a very bad habit. You cannot learn mathematics like that. Okay? Alright, that's the third thing. And the fourth thing, and this is my personal favorite, I call it the Ramanujan Notebook. So there is a small notebook that I carry with myself and I have jotted down some two, three problems that I'm thinking at the moment. And I carry that notebook everywhere. If I go to a coffee shop, if I come to office, if I'm going to a library or a university, for you it would be school. I carry that notebook everywhere. And whenever I get a little time, I look at those problems. I think about them. This is a psychological, this has a psychological impact. You are always immersed in the world of mathematics. And that is very, very important. And with all of these tools, the step two is complete. That is the psychological warfare. Finally, we come to the step three. To reach out to great teachers. Especially those teachers who are specializing on Mathematics Olympiad. Of course, Chinda specializes in Mathematical Olympiads, but there are other organizations who do that too. Of course, if an organization is doing too many things, like let's say IITs, Olympiads, NEET, so and so forth, oftentimes they cannot focus on one thing. So it's very important that you find someone or some team or some people, some teacher, who is focused on Mathematical Olympiads. And then, the insights that you receive from that person, from that team, from that community, can be really impactful. So these are the three things. Select the right resources. 
win the psychological warfare and reach out to great teachers. If you do these three things, I think you can craft an excellent journey in learning mathematics and doing this math contests. Let us know if you have any idea or any comment in the comment section. Also check out the links in the description for more resources. Thank you for joining in today. My name is Ashini Dajgupto. I will see you next time again with some tips and ideas related to mathematics. Take care and bye.